What are you doing, Dad? Dad, what are you do- Dad! Dad! Let me out! Is Girl in the Basement based on a true story? Yes, Girl in the Basement is based on a true story. In fact, the plot has been gleaned from several real-life incidents and have tainted humanity and the world that we live in. The film happens to be actress Elizabeth Room's directorial debut, who stated that it comes from several records of afflicted young women. These accounts deal with sexual assault, incest, and false imprisonment. Elizabeth said she intended to tell a story that isn't just a movie, but a movement. One of these real-life stories is the Fritzl case that happened in the town of Amstetten, Austria. The matter reached the public in 2008 when a woman named Elizabeth Fritzl filed a report to the police. It stated that she has been imprisoned for 24 years by her father, Josef Fritzl. During the two decades of imprisonment, Elizabeth gave birth to several children sired by her father. Agnes? Okay, Marie. In the Lifetime documentary called Beyond the Headlines Surviving Child Abduction and Imprisonment, two real abduction survivors also share their stories similar to the events in the film. The first story is about Lori Poland, kidnapped when she was three and left in an outhouse in 1983. The second story is about Katie Beers, caged for 17 days by a family friend in 1992. According to actor Jolie Fisher, the movie narrates the story of a monster and the only way to defeat him is by openly talking about it. She further mentions her three daughters in an interview and vowed to step up like a warrior if something dangerous happened to her precious children. Hence, Girl in the Basement is a realistic account of numerous people who mercilessly end up being a victim of confinement, torture and rape. It gives a voice to all those whose stories need to be heard. What happened to Elizabeth Fritzl? Elizabeth is one of the seven children born to Josef and Rosemary Fritzl. It is reported that Josef began abusing Elizabeth in 1977 when she was only 11 years old. In August 1984, Josef lured her into the basement of their house, pretending that he needed help fixing a door. This door turns out to be the final fitting of the chamber that Josef had built to imprison her. After her disappearance, he convinced his wife that their daughter had run away and wanted to join a religious cult, a lie that Rosemary would believe for years before the truth surfaced. In the 24 years of being held in the basement, Yosef assaulted and sexually abused Elizabeth. She even gave birth to seven children that resulted from the numerous instances of rape, one of whom died shortly after birth. Three of her children were brought up by Yosef and Rosemary as Yosef led his wife to believe that they were left at the doorstep by their missing daughter, who was unable to take care of them. Sarah, yeah. we're doing okay, but there's no time or money for a baby right now. This is Thomas. I hope you'll take good care of him for me. But the other three kids were brought up by Elizabeth in the cellar. On April 26, 2008, Yosef was arrested when Elizabeth revealed the truth to the police. She was allowed to step out of the cellar all the years due to her eldest daughter, Christine, requesting medical attention. Where is Elizabeth Fritzl now? Elizabeth Fritzl was finally reunited with her other three children raised by Yosef and Rosemary. The family received support from a local psychiatric center and were moved to a two-story home with tight security in a small Austrian village. The house has video cameras, CCTV operated gates and trees that shield the windows. Soon after Elizabeth was released from the cellar, she developed an obsession for cleanliness and would shower up to 10 times a day. The locals are sensitive to the family's ordeal and have given them unwavering support that allows some normalcy to their lives. Elizabeth's three children, who grew up with her parents, attended regular schools while she educated the three kids that lived with her. Irrespective of whether the children grew up upstairs or downstairs, their world came crashing down in April 2008 and they had to undergo mental health interventions. All of them are now adults between the ages of 17 and 31, while the three kids who were raised away from Elizabeth have finally started to recognize her as their mother and the siblings have developed a fairly healthy bond. The local residents describe them as happy and polite. Elizabeth had a hard time believing that her mother Rosemary had no idea about what has been happening to her. 
This created a lot of friction between the two. Eventually, Elizabeth has been able to trust her again, and the mother and daughter have started spending time as a family. As for Elizabeth, it was reported in 2019 that she found love with her bodyguard Thomas Wagner, who is 23 years younger than her. One of her psychiatric carers revealed that the relationship gave her new strength and helped her heal. This is evident in the fact that she has been able to scale back on the therapy sessions that she was undergoing for PTSD. Now Thomas lives with Elizabeth and her six children. Elizabeth socialized with the people in her locality and loves to shop and drive around. She spends time with her children and is actively involved in their lives. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about our latest videos. Who is Josef Ritzel? Josef Fritzl caught the attention of the public when Elizabeth revealed the truth about where she was for 24 years. This was triggered by a medical emergency since Elizabeth's eldest daughter Kirsten suffered life-threatening kidney failure and had to be rushed to the hospital on April 19, 2008. Please, Daddy. Bye. The medical staff alerted the police when Yosef's made-up story about Kirsten seemed suspicious. Eventually, this led to his arrest on April 26, 2008, after Elizabeth described her ordeal to the police. Yosef was 73 years old at the time. After his arrest, Yosef claimed that his relationship with Elizabeth was consensual. However, according to his conversations with his defense lawyer Rudolf Mayer, he admitted that he was aware that what he was doing was not right. But he said that it became a normal occurrence for him to lead a different life in the basement of his house. He also believed that he was not the monster that the media made him into, because he took care of Elizabeth and her kids. Almost a year after his arrest, Yosef pleaded guilty to charges of incest, abuse, false imprisonment, coercion and enslavement of his daughter Elizabeth. He even pleaded guilty to the negligent homicide of baby Michael who was his son and grandson. Even though Yosef had initially stated that he locked up his then teen daughter Elizabeth because she broke the rules and he had to keep her away from the outside world. Where is Yosef Fritzl now? In April 2019, it was reported that Yosef's health has been rapidly declining. At the time, he was 84 years old and expressed his wish to live no longer. He reportedly has dementia and his fellow inmates believe that he may be at the end of his life. One of the fellow prisoners told local media that Yosef has withdrawn from people and hardly leaves his cell. He also added that the other inmates are happy to stay away from him, given his reputation as one of the most infamous convicts in Austria. Thanks for watching everyone! Please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe with that bell on to get notified as soon as one of our videos comes out.